Hey guys, Bitter Steel here, back with another video. Today we'll be playing another juicy, juicy No Step Back Country. So let's go. 1936, and we will be playing as Estonia. God, I love the Estonia's focus tree. Now, as Estonia, what will we do? Well, Esti Skandi is the goal of the day, which means play as Estonia and conquer Denmark, Norway, Sweden, and Finland. All countries must be under our control, either as a puppet or direct rule. So, sounds interesting. Let's get that done. Iron Man mode on and historical AI focuses on, so you can do what I did. And I clicked on Finland. All right, take two. Yes, that's that's a lot better. All right, army under a general. We'll take Jackson Alexander here. Uh, I'll I'll leave them as they are. I'll fiddle around with them later. As for focuses, just look at that beautiful, beautiful tree. Rally the nation. We turn to the brown path, the dark path. That's what we will do today. Estonia will be a great nation, or she will not be at all. As for production, I'll add one factory to infantry equipment, make use of that free experience, or rather efficiency, and I'll add a factory on toward artillery. Research is the basics, it's always the same. Basic machine tools, construction, and research. Good. Construction, I'll build two mills in Viru, whatever, and two in Tartu. Trade for a bit of steel with our dear friends in Sweden. We are trying to be a Scandinavian country after all. Gotta keep those Scandinavians happy. So, let us start. What is the goal here? First off, we are going to rally the nation. This will give us access to march decisions. Uh, pretty much just start marching through the country like you can in the fascist Britain path. I'll show you in a second what happens. Oh, and uh, exercise the army. Forgot about that one. 12 seconds later. Okay, the nation has been rallied. We cannot continue to march on Tallinn. We need more support for the VAPs. So let's get rejoin the railways first. All right, what can we do now? Go into the decisions tab and boom, suddenly we have off map decisions. 25 PP, 30 days, and we have a 33% chance for each of these outcomes, either 10, 15, or 20 support for the party of our choice. I like to start with a march here in Viruma, and if it's good enough to get us over 40% support for the VAPs, we can continue on to the march on Tallinn. Now, if the march is unsuccessful, meaning your support is on the low side, there is a chance of a civil war. The civil war is easy to win, but it gives you a pretty annoying national spirit, uh, minus 10% stability, minus 10% war support. Not game breaking, but enough to be annoying. A way around that is to wait until you've done a couple of these marches. I'd like to do two because it's not too bad to spend the PP and it's worth it to not have that national spirit, but I don't like to do all of them because it's well, a lot of political power and it does waste some time. So let's just hope we are lucky. But like I said, it's not game breaking. It's just a bit annoying. And we've got the first march, and it's a very good outcome. So, let's see here. Ra railways, five more days. If you were to march on Tallinn now, there is a 43% chance of a civil war, and a 56% chance of just a peaceful transition of power, and a 1% chance, I assume, of nothing. I have no idea where that 1% went. Now, I'd like to up our chances and also do a march in... Pernu? This place. It's 25 pp, it doesn't matter. Alright, we joined the railways done, and now we march on Tallinn. Yes, it still says 43%, that's because the other march hasn't finished yet. It will in about 30 days, so uh, the numbers will change when the march finishes. It's a bit of a gamble, but I think it's worth it. Well, Italy won. While I'm waiting for the march on Tallinn, I'm gonna set up a naval invasion order on our first target of the day. Like, uh, I like to set it on the tip of Jutland. And yes, we don't have naval invasion tech yet, but that doesn't stop our general from planning this. So just set it up early and forget about it. Okay, we were lucky-ish. So two good marches and we are at 60% support, which means there's only a 29% chance of a civil war and a 70% chance of a peaceful transition of power. I like those odds. Ah, oh, man. <sighs> Naturally, we get the worst possible outcome because of course we do like it's really easy to win the civil war Just cap the victory points pin whatever divisions they have and it's done. Hey, there we go. It's fine It's fine. Nothing is lost. Just continue training and as for the focuses We are gonna look away from this branch and we're gonna go back over here we are now going to renew Allied trade, take the Harju Ford industry, and then increase Allied shipments and the Baltic fleet. Because I want those ships, I need those ships. As for industry, concentrated. We don't have a lot of factories, and I want them pumping, 
pumping to the max. Now this is annoying in terms of manpower. We lost those divisions, they're gone for good. So maybe we can get a little bit more manpower motorized? Hope so. But in case we can't, I'm gonna start consolidating a couple of my divisions. Well, this isn't great, but it will have to do. If you don't have that civil war, you don't end up with whatever this is, a complete lack of manpower. So I'm just gonna delete one of my divisions, uh, one of the infantry divisions. Uh, that ends us with, let's see, three cavalry divisions and one infantry division. If you're wondering what the templates look like, yeah, not great, but remarkably, combat with doesn't really matter all that much. Uh, there, I don't think there's a brand new meta out there just yet. I'm gonna roll with what feels right. So we're gonna use these eight with horses and 12 with infantry for maximum efficiency. And this is pretty much all the divisions we need to start with anyway. So it's fine, it's fine. Three horses and an infantry unit. More would be better, but got unlucky there. And so research uh, after the initial run of industry, I'm gonna pick up uh, radios here and I'm gonna work on some support weapons as well. And and where are we? Transports. We need to get to the Danes. Eventually. We're not going to justify just yet. We have time. Might as well hire Field Marshal. Yeah, our military command also took a bit of a hit. Annoying, but it is what it is. Oh, Spain is doing the thing. That's good. We're going to start by improving relations with the nationalists and send them an attaché as soon as possible. Okay, ally trade renewed. Hiherjufurd. And hurrah, we can send an attaché to Spain. Not only will this give us 10% war support so we can go up to war economy eventually, uh, but it also uh, starts to give us very, very important army experience. Now, if you are lucky, unlike me, and you don't get the Civil War, you don't have to worry about this debuff for the rest of the game, popular resistance. So you don't actually send the attaché to get yourself war economy, but the attaché gives you very, very valuable army experience early on. So that is why I'm sending the attaché. I want and need some army experience, at least 10. Preferably more. Really pisses me off that we got the Civil War with 70% chance of not getting it. Just my luck, man. Just my luck. It also screws with our manpower a little. I should be able to have at least one more infantry division at that point, but all that manpower that went to the other side in the Civil War is lost. Lost forever. Sad times. Alright, how you Ford is done. Now, increase some allied shipments. Free guns. Yes, please. And we're now making artillery. Don't worry, don't trade for tungsten. We, we only have the one military, or rather one civilian factory. Just let it build. Let it build, it's fine. All right, concentrator done. Now as for research, do whatever you like. Doesn't really matter. Just make sure you get the naval invasion tech before you finish your justification on Denmark. Yes, we are gonna justify on Denmark, but not yet, not yet. Uh, I'm gonna put a little more effort into the industry myself. Oh, Spain, go away. All right, we have 10 army experience. Edit the infantry template and add in some support artillery. It's not much, but it's gonna add us a much needed hard attack. No, rather soft attack. And after this run of industry, I am researching the naval invasion tech. Can't forget, I need to actually get to Denmark. Okay, allied shipments are done, join the common turn pact, and now we justify on Denmark for juicy, juicy, whatever land. 240 days, that gives us plenty of time for the rest of the focuses, that is the Baltic fleet, and some stuff over here. Baltic fleet first, we need some boats to get to Denmark. Hurrah, the Baltic fleet is done, we're gonna use those free dockyards to start making bathtubs. Take the subs, add torpedoes, and make the cheapest torpedoes possible, and make exactly four of them and then follow that up with convoys. Now for focuses, back to the right side of the tree. And next we are grabbing the veterans government and anti-communist militia. That has another 140 days. Oh yeah, we will have plenty of time to finish those before we take on the Danes. Now, I could wait and get 150 PP to go up to war economy. Kind of tempted to. Then again, I also very much like to hire this artillery expert. Not exactly for the artillery attack, which is nice. The extra daily gain in army experience. Mm. Mm. No, no. You have to get more economy before the Spanish Civil War ends. So I'll do that. I'll do that. Uh, it, it doesn't really impact us that much considering how few factories we have, but we did just double our available civ count. So there is that. I'm sure somebody's going to tell me why that was a giant mistake, but I'll let you guys tell me in the comments. I'm always curious to see how I can improve. Oh, and the reason I'm not recruiting any more troops, even though I have 
maybe enough manpower for a sink? No, not even that. Well, the reason I'm not recruiting any troops is because I need those four submarines built and every sub needs 200 manpower. So there's that. Ah, veterans government done. Also gives us a bunch of free political power. Again, I could hire the artillery guy or I could go up a conscription law. Not going to. Instead, I think we'll hire this subservient ultra-nationalist. 15% PP gain and a boost to the Italy fascism. Not bad. That's going to improve our country a little bit. Now for the anti-communist militias, a couple of free units that will be very, very helpful. I know reach out to Germany might not be terrible. I don't know what it does actually. I like the free troops. We definitely need more troops. Uh, at this point Germany starts asking you to join the Axis. Don't. Just, just don't. You have nothing to gain by joining the Axis now. Nothing. Oh great. We hire an Admiral. He's Craven. Oh, so hard to get good help these days. I've also hired a Field Marshal. Well, I promoted one of my generals. I didn't want to use the uh, Johann Leidoner because he's old guard and I don't like it. Plus, this guy can still get uh, fresh traits for the high command. So maybe we can pick something useful for once. I've also given him uh, offensive doctrine because we will be attacking a lot. And I can still use the other guy, uh, Johan here, as a defensive general later on. Should this campaign run a little longer? And we need to fight the Red Menace. Don't think we will, though. Don't think we will. Hurrah! Anti-communist militias, that means fresh troops. And they are quite thick boys. I'll change these over to the Yala Bal Bal, whatever. Our basic infantry, sign them to the general, park them on Tallinn. And with that extra manpower, I can recruit a couple of units for myself. Uh, that'll do. This is more than enough to defeat the hated Danes. Next up, uh, empower Finnish militants. We are going on a little expedition to Finland. Finland helped us in our war of independence and we shall return the favor. Now for political power, we are going to war pretty soon. So I am getting the artillery expert. I could get the other guy though, the infantry expert. Hmm, like I can upgrade the artillery expert as uh, our general gets experience, which is a nice thing. You can see here, he is our expert. He's a specialist actually. And when he goes up to level four, or was it level six? Yes, when he goes up to level six, he becomes an expert. And at level eight, he becomes a genius. Doesn't really matter. I think I'll get the infantry guy. All right, we're getting fresh, fresh factories. Uh, I'm a little short on trains, so I'm going to put one factory on trains, actually. All right, we have our transports. Let's take the army, all three cavalry guys, and one infantry division, assign them to that invasion order. It is already planned, so we don't need to wait any longer. They're ready to go. I only have the five here, so that is exactly the amount of convoys we need for this invasion to work. We'll build one more sub, and then we invade the Danes. Sadly, I would have had this by now if our stability wasn't low. This is reducing our dockyard output. Eh, doesn't matter though. We still have six days to go and then I can hold on to the war goal while we build this submarine. This one finishes oh, 30 days. Yeah, that stability hit really throws a wrench in things, but it doesn't matter that much. Let's research trucks. I'm gonna need trucks to uh, make my logistics not suck. Yeah, justification's finished. Let's just let it rest. It doesn't matter. We've got time. We need that fourth submarine to achieve naval superiority. Trust me on that. Three is not enough. Okay, we've empowered Finnish Finnish militants. Let's also do some national pride marches in Finland. What we just did in Estonia, we will now do in Finland. Okay, fourth submarine is built. Set the entire navy on convoy escort. No, sorry. Naval invasion support in these sea zones here. The uh, army can go, 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 go. And we declare. Nobody's going to come help you now, Denmark. Uh, the reason I'm invading the tip of Jutland here is because they almost never put troops here. Like every other port is guarded, but this one is never guarded. So it's an easy point of invasion. We've landed, now assign the entire army here, so bring over those troops still at home. March the infantry to Arhus, and the cavalry can spread out. Just start surrounding Arhus, I guess. One of them goes around here, come to the south, and one goes here and pin from the side. All right. This is not really a difficult war. It's just annoying that we don't have enough convoys and we're kind of lacking trucks and it's kind of annoying on the whole, but should be fine. We should have more than enough troops. If you want to be sure, you could just force deploy these guys into queue. Again, doesn't 
really matter? Might as well. If we had more stability, we'd have had a couple of convoys built by now as well, but tis what tis. Alright, the port guard will come out and attack us here. It always does, doesn't matter. They're bringing up reinforcements from the rear. Again, does not matter. This is annoying. We're getting double combat again. So they're both defending and attacking. Ugh. Now for additional research, what I'm going to do is get airplanes. So fighters and CAS. Why? Because it's overpowered. That's why. CAS currently has some absurd numbers and I like using those numbers. All right, National Pride marches in Finland. Now we can do in Finland what we did before in our own country, assuming it ever shows up. There we go. And just start doing these marches. Once support gets high enough, we'll be able to march on Usima. And again, maybe we can start a civil war in Finland and we'll help our side win, after which we can absorb them. That is not yet on the table though, so what we can do is do another couple of focuses. Either we get some industry from this branch, that would be my suggestion, or we get some recruitable pop from this part here, Glory of War and Vapsid Youth. Both are definitely viable options. It's gonna depend on what you want. Mm, that 2% recruitable pop is juicy though. No, I want factories. Gonna modernize our industry and do the Baltic School of Aviation. Bonuses to airplanes. Airplanes are just ridiculously overpowered current patch. Okay, so that annoying combat is over. We can now make trucks as well. I'm gonna research engineer. Am I gonna research engineers? Like research at this point doesn't really matter. You've got what you need. Just focus on the basics. Industry, engineering, artillery, and infantry. I would not recommend tanks as Estonia. You just it's not gonna happen, at least not for a while. I'll just get Cass. Stupid Yenmak. All right, crush Arhus and then continue the march on Copenhagen. Hurrah! Yeah, you could just battle plan this last bit, doesn't matter. Oh, now we can make trucks, let's actually do that because supply is gonna be an issue. Definitely gonna be an issue. Oh, Denmark, just give up. Danish army really isn't that much, uh, much of a threat. Ask the Germans. They put up six hours of fighting. Glorious six hours. Fired one shot, did knock out a tank though. And there goes Denmark. Eh, just puppet him. You could satellite Iceland first, and then puppet Denmark, or just puppet Denmark. But if you do, Iceland uh, goes its own way. They always break away if Denmark capitulates, for some reason. So I just puppeted them so I don't lose them. Uh, we'll just send the army back home to Tallinn. That's it. So that is one country under our control. Three more to go. Ugh, annoyingly, they want us to demobilize. Yeah, this national spirit's annoying. Really annoying. You could bypass that now by just sending Japan an attaché, but it's, it's another 100. It might be worth it for all the uh, army experience you're gonna get though. So if you don't have the national spirit, you don't have to do that. I just, yeah, under political power. Oh well. <sighs> of course China complains. Yeah, that did set us back a little bit. But I even broke the marches. Wow. Okay, that's a first. Uh, good to know. If you're doing a march, it breaks if you go into negative political power. Yeah, I got a couple of factories, uh, but I am completely out of manpower. Just completely. So I'm just gonna get Glory of War and of Absent Youth. So far, this guide is off to a good start. Real good start. At least Finland's close. Could probably just let this tick up naturally. Eh, it's slow. Yeah, it's too slow. I'll do another march. Good thing is we're getting stupid amounts of army experience now, so... Okay, Finland's got enough support now for the Brown Party. We can do the march on Usima, do that, and in 30 days there will be civil war. Oh, Vapsit youth, precious, precious manpower. Every Estonian is needed at the front. Hey, march on Usina. Oh, no civil war then. All right, Greater Finland it is. That's good. Uh, we can unite our nations next after we get the Vapsid Youth. Yeah, it's too far in to cancel it now. Might as well. All right, I'm also going to make Fighter 1s. And as soon as I finish research, I'll also get Cast 1. Just because it's so stupid powerful right now, it'd be a shame not to use it, even if we don't get a lot of them. Would very much like more military factories, though. Maybe it was wrong to focus on Vapsid Youth. I am leaving a lot of industry on the table right now. Hmm. We have time, though. We have time. It's fine. Fine. While we're waiting, uh, might as well just set up uh, units on the front here with Latvia. That will be our next target. And no, Germany, I still don't want to join your party. No. Hey, we have the Vapsit Youth, so some free manpower coming in. Next up, we will take the Baltic Shield and the Brotherhood. Baltic Shield is useless, just a couple of land forts, but the Brotherhood, oh boy. War goals on uh, Latvia and Lithuania. And if we're quick enough with the declarations, they will not be able to pick up any guarantees. So the day the focus finishes, we instantly pause and declare war on both nations simultaneously. World tension still too low for them to join the allies, and they won't be able to get a guarantee that way. Sometimes 
sometimes you just have to be quick about things. Oh, precious, precious manpower flooding in. Yes. Also going to change over everything to infantry. The calf can go. We have the manpower to fill those divisions now. Another 150 political power. Time to make a big pick. Uh, we could hire the Vapsid Economist. I like the miners' consumer goods and the fascism support. That will be helpful for our stability. But speaking of stability, I could also get the popular figurehead for a flat 15% stability right now. That might actually be better. Uh, yeah, the consumer goods doesn't do much if you barely have any factories anyway. Uh, other picks would be military high command and artillery expert might be helpful. Chief of the Air Force, eh, not so much, maybe a little. Military theorist is also going to be incredibly important. He is your first go- yeah. No, I think I want the stability. I'll already positively affect everything we do and from there, mm, Maybe I'll hire the theorist next to our doctrines cheaper. We're almost ready to pick a doctrine anyway. Okay, teeny tiny mistake here. I've done Baltic Shield and was gonna do Brotherhood. My bad. What you want is unite our nations. You first wanna eat Finland. I know, I'm getting a little excited. So I'm just gonna improve relations. I'm not sure if that actually matters or if it's just 100% chance. I don't wanna take another risk. This has been a very poorly executed guide so far. Or at least I've not been very lucky. So unite our nations, 35 days, and we should... Just eat Finland. Speaking of that, maybe we set up our garrisons to be a little higher on the priority list because that is not core territory. Not yet, at least. Hey, Greater Finland accepts. Now we are big, big Estonia. So let's proclaim Finno Ugra 70 days and we will core all of Finland, which is gonna be very important because right now it's occupied territory and it's costing me a lot of stuff. Oh, that is a lot of stuff. Uh, let's use the cavalry and local police force. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. We did get the Finnish army though, so let's also plop that down on our marshal. It's actually a bigger army than I uh, than I anticipated. Templates are looking, we'll normalize these later. While we control Finland, what I'm gonna do is do a little bit of a construction here. I'm gonna hook up with a naval base in Petsamo, with a railway. Oh, God, I click in the province. Hook it up with a railway, I said. And plug that into the existing railway network. And I'm gonna build another bit of railway from that bit we just built, I guess. And hook it up to this province here. It'll come into play later, don't worry. You'll you'll see. Ah, good timing. Uh, I don't want to issue that request. Let's instead... Hmm, First hire the military theorist. Haha, -ha. and now I'll send my attaches wherever I want. With that done, let's start picking doctrines as well. Uh, the reason I waited is just because this guy makes doctrines 10% cheaper. It would be a shame to leave that 10% on the table and will obviously go with superior firepower. God, we're wasting so much manpower garrisoning Finland. Well, I'm making fighters, I'm making casts. Don't need that much in infantry equipment anyway. So we're looking good, we're looking good. I'll change our templates uh, in a bit, just when the manpower and equipment frees up from uh, garrisoning Finland. And then it's time to take on our Baltic brothers. Hurrah, Finno Ugra, look at that beautiful color. Estonia Finland League is born. All of that stuff, whoops, all of that stuff is now core territory. So shouldn't require, ah, shouldn't require that much equipment anymore. Good, that means I can change all these guys to the good infantry division and we'll be golden. Speaking of the good infantry division, we're gonna change this up a little bit. Uh, this is good, could be better. I'm gonna add two, three. Three infantry guys and some artillery. 21 combat with probably not the best, but it should work. Though I need more manpower. And now we do the Brotherhood. Again, talking about templates, I have no idea what's optimal. I think this should work. And I've seen uh, this ancient monstrosity do very well. Uh, we'll see. This is my goal. I want to see just how far I can get with this. Of course, we're gonna add stuff like engineers as well later on. Let's first eat our Baltic brothers though. Okay, that railway up there is built. We wanna build something else. We wanna build a supply hub here at the final point where we built that new piece of railway. And to speed that baby up, we're gonna reorganize the railway system. One speeds up supply hub construction by 300%. Can only do this once, so use it wisely. This is where we want to use it. After that one's built, uh, either we jack up more mills, can always use more mills, or instead we improve the railway system here, because level one railways, not the best. I tend to like at least level two all the way back to the port. Maybe even the port in Helsinki, it's higher level. And of course we are out of manpower again, disgustingly. I could delete some divisions, it, it would help things along. Or I could use uh, Danish manpower. They they don't have that much manpower. 
You know what? It seems safer to just get rid of these divisions for now. I can always train more. And that way, at least the troops I have will have manpower and equipment. 24 divisions isn't that bad, right? For Estonia, it's not that bad at all. Alrighty, the Brotherhood is done. We've paused the game immediately. They've not picked up any guarantees. Very important because the UK will start throwing those babies out immediately. So we'll declare war on both of these at once without unpausing. And that should settle the issue. And all I really have to do is... Well, I'm going to redraw this. No, I'll leave the planning to go. Just start the battle planner and... They are no match for us. As for focuses, what we want to do now is unite the Sami later. First off, we are going to go back over here and pick up some more industry. Always need more industry. Either get the Harju Crossley Motors, that's a couple of factories for 70 political power, or get more mills from other places. Uh, but mm, I think I'll get these first. Another 150 PP, where we spend this. Choices, choices, choices. Either we get the Artillery Expert for making things blow up faster, or we first get the Vapsid Economist for a little bit more, or fewer, consumer goods. I'll take the consumer goods, I think. Might also need to change conscription laws at some point. Anyway, as you can see, the AI really, um, really isn't a match for this. Kill, crush, destroy. And there goes Latvia. Simply take all states. We have plans for them. And Lithuania doesn't really fare all that much better. Oh, it definitely does not. Ah, we've been outmaneuvered. They've taken Memel. If you're lucky, you can actually get this done before they get Memel. Oh well, this run has been a little slow. This is very much a worst case scenario we're working with here. But it still works. It still works. There we go. There goes Lithuania. Take all... No, not puppet. Take all states and done. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And now we unite the Baltics. Ah, lovely new color. We're now the Baltic unitary state with more manpower. It should be flooding in. Ah, there we go. And more factories, more equipment. Let's keep training troops. Hmm, that may be a bit ambitious, but we'll see. And now we set our eyes on the horizon for a new target. We'll take 10 divisions away. Yep. And set up a naval invasion from Jutland and we'll hit the area around Oslo. It should be good. And the rest of this army is going to go to the far, far north and set up here. Can you tell? Can you tell who our next target is? I bet you can tell. We're also beefing up the railways here. We've got a supply hub in the region, so the army shouldn't starve too much at least. And we keep producing whatever it is we need. It's going to be mostly airplanes. We're going to need a lot of airplanes. Now we keep trading with Sweden. They have no idea why we are boosting their economy so much. I'll tell you why, because it's going to be our economy soon. Now, Norway is very mountainous and I would do well to use mountaineers here. I haven't researched them because it doesn't matter. Norway barely has an army anyway, and the allies will not get dragged into this if we're quick enough. So the instant the focus to eat Norway finishes, we pause the game. We should be able to get Norway before Molotov Ribbentrop. No, that other thing. That other thing. Wester Übung fires. Okay, let us unite the Sami. That gives us a war goal on Norway and Sweden. Now, we'll instantly declare war on Norway, so that should be fine. There will be no interference from the Allies. But in the meanwhile, they could guarantee Sweden. Doesn't matter. Literally doesn't matter. Again, keep saying no to Adolf. I know he wants his inner faction. I, I don't, don't want to join his faction. Not yet, at least. Not yet. Now in preparation, I'm going to send my airplanes over to the Danish belts along with the entire fleet. Luckily, we got a couple of ships off Finland, so I can use those. Naval invasion support in the Danish belts. And all of our air force over the Danish belts as well. Air superiority and maybe naval strike. Got more political power. I could boost up our worker conditions or I could hire the artillery expert. No, stability is really bad. So let's just get the improved worker conditions. May, up, may, may end up regretting that, but... Eh, live and learn. Ah, that's new. Uh, apparently the UK can actually guarantee Norway already, even though this is a justification via focus. Hmm, hmm. I mean, it doesn't really matter for the purpose of the video. You'll still be able to knock out Norway quickly, but they will join the allies and it's annoying. Really annoying. Okay, so this is literally a absolute worst case scenario video in the making, so... Yeah, it kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. 
like what usually happens at this point is you'll get Norway for free because the UK still isn't guaranteeing them. And after that, you take on Sweden with the help of the Axis or you don't even need the help of the Axis. Just push up from the north and we'll go down the penis. But uh, yeah, this is the first time I've actually had the UK guarantee Sweden and Norway just from this focus. Maybe because we generated too much world tension or because the world's gone a little crazy? I don't know. Usually we haven't generated 10% world tension by now. In, in case you hadn't caught on by now, this is an absolute worst case scenario run happening right here. So, it is what it is. It's fine. We'll, we'll handle it. We'll handle it. With that going on though, I am gonna force deploy these units I had been building up, add them to a separate army. I'm just gonna use them to defend my ports because the UK definitely likes its naval invasions. Boy, does it like its naval invasions. Well, since we might run into some UK troops, I'm gonna change my template some more. Uh, oh, great. I forgot I just spent all my XP because I'm an idiot. Ah, well, I'll get some more XP. Well, focus finishes. And from this point forward, just pick whatever you like, really. Probably whatever jacks up your industry some more. Kind of bummed by the development here. So, yeah, usually now you just declare war on Norway and nobody joins because there's not time for a guarantee. But apparently they changed it and now the AI can actually guarantee you because it sees a focus as a justification, which is logical but annoying. Uh, we'll have to deal with it. There we go. We'll just fight you on our own. It's fine. I just set off your naval invasion to the south here and get your attack going from the north. You should be able to... Yeah, get across before the Royal Navy gets in. <laughs> oh, we just barely got going before the no Royal Navy arrived. Okay. At any rate, Norway should should fold really, really easily. Oh boy, they uh, it does look like they've actually intercepted some of my units. Oh well, now we just overrun Norway. This would be a lot easier if the UK wasn't involved. Kind of bummed. Just rush the ports, reduce the amount of headache. Yeah, that's a lot of headache in Stavanger. Uh, ow. That is French heavy armor. <sighs> every time, the AI just cucks you every time. I make a guide, AI comes up with a way to break it. It's fun, it's hilarious, it's great. Oh, the amount of stuff they've got in Stavanger here is um, shocking. And we're still pushing them out. I don't want to know how many ally tanks that were. <laughs> I should probably be researching military police, considering we'll need to garrison a bunch of stuff. Annoyingly. And I'll need to trade with somebody else who doesn't get all my stuff convoy raided. Oh, I cannot put into words just how bummed out I am by this. It's just so annoying. Now they'll obviously sink all my convoys, which they always do. Why must the AI do this to me? Well, this is supposed to be like literally free Norway, but... Uh, AI had different plans, also the logistical AI is retarded and is shipping all of my guys overseas where they're getting convoy raided, so... My experience is probably not the best benchmark for this guide. It's just literally worst case scenario right now. It, it could not possibly get any worse than this. Oh, uh, at least that's Norway gone. I'll just mop up whatever allied divisions are still here and... God, there's a lot of them. Oh, there's a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, best get to mopping up and leave a couple of divisions to guard the ports because they do love naval invasions so much they don't know what else to do. Naval invasions are their thing, their shtick. Oh, I hate this AI. It keeps shipping my boys across the water <laughs> where the Royal Navy shreds them. Oh, just stay calm. Stay calm, it's fine. Also, France is invading my uh, my islands in the Baltic. So, yeah. Apparently, you can pass through the Danish Straits, even though I control Denmark and Norway. I mean, fair and balanced, right? Fair and balanced. <sighs> Please okay. stop shipping my guys across the water. You're getting everybody killed. Right, Soviets are now doing their thing. Yeah, fine, Germany, I'll join. Whatever. Look at that. The UK is able to naval invade me. Despite me having control of the Danish belts here, they, they should not be able to pass through. The AI is, is like perfectly capable of naval invading Åland, and now they can just throw some stuff here as well, and it's... Oh, it, it makes me so angry. 
Iceland, no. Denmark, no. Italy, yes. Fine. Germany, yes. Whatever. It is cool. I am zen. I am calm and collected. I will destroy my enemies. No matter how stupid they are. Well, I've called in Germany, so that's a thing. At least all those expeditionary troops have been destroyed. And I can breathe easy. At least a little bit. Just gotta guard all the ports here and see about... Yeah, cleaning up. There we go. Now we set up on... Oh. And now we take on Sweden. The problem here <laughs> is that usually Norway would be a puppet by now. There would be no border here to fight over and we could just walk down from like the, the, the link between the penis and the Balzac and we can walk all the way down here to Skåne or Scania. <sighs> we can't do that now. So, again, literally the very worst case scenario possible. But for you guys, I will endure. I'm not gonna re record this. We'll take it as it is. We'll take it as it is. Doesn't help that I need to put one, two, three, four, five, six divisions on guarding the Norwegian ports. Ah. <sighs> yeah, I'm annoyed. If, if you can't tell, I'm really annoyed now. Oh, I'm so annoyed. Uh, Germany did the thing to Poland. That's fine. Uh, don't really care. Fine, I'll join. Again, don't don't really care. All right, I'll see if I can take out Sweden then. <sighs> this is gonna be the big suck, but it is what it is. I really, really don't want them to get stronger than they already are. I'm gonna abandon these ports. It's probably a terrible idea. I'll, I'll definitely get naval invaded from the rear, but I'm just gonna try and knock out Sweden. I'll, I'll even call in my allies. I'll even call in the Germans. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. Let's go. Cannot put into words just how pissed off I am with this. I'm so angry. Uh, like the Swedish troops are melting. It's just a really, really long border. And I... I legitimately cannot man all of it. Why? Why are you? Oh, no. I put Denmark into the war. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, this has gone from this is a good guy to please, please hope you get better outcome than I am getting. It's Poland, at least. With Axis help, this should be really no issue. Again, what you want to do here is puppet Norway without any allied interference, then fight Sweden while they join the allies, you join the Axis, but you just walk up from the tip, well, the, the, the base of the penis, all the way down the tip, and that should be it. Don't call in your puppets, don't even call in the Germans. You can do this easily if you're not stupid and unlucky like myself. Boy, I'm angry. Ah, oh, Molotov, Ribbentrop, what? Aw, oh, they won't will no. At least that buys us time. We've also pretty much lost our entire fleet, so that's gonna suck. Yeah, we need to get Gotland. I don't know how we're gonna get Gotland with the Royal Navy in the region. <laughs> it's a big Royal Navy in the region. Um, Maybe we should build some more bathtubs. Again, this really should not be this much of an issue. <laughs> Why am I so sad? Well, this is costing me a lot of artillery, so... This template does win us battles, yes. It, it's just ridiculously expensive, like ridiculously expensive. Oh, there goes Sweden. At least that's good. So we just need Gotland and then we have everything. Shockingly, we don't need Orland. We just need Gotland. Ah, <sighs> refreshing. See if I can set off a quick naval invasion, which I honestly doubt. Maybe if I just select all of my airplanes, put them over the sea. Who knows? Maybe we can make things happen. No naval invasion support ready. Well, while we set up for that invasion, um, how about we send everybody else to guard the ports so we don't get any stupid naval invasions? Because stupid naval invasions is sort of the AI specialty. And it would make me so, so sad if we were to lose this now. <laughs> already, We've already had to work far... Far too hard for it. Unreasonably hard. So trust me guys, it's not the guide. Like the method is fine, it's just I've never been this unlucky. <laughs> Annoyingly, with our entire fleet getting sunk a little earlier, we're not able to get naval of supremacy just yet. If, if we didn't lose all those ships, we'll be able to eke it out now, but give it time, give it time and we'll get there. Oh, we managed to get a naval invasion off. Oh, there goes Paris. Uh See if it actually does anything. Oh, there are some Swedes here. Uh, should be able to beat them. All right, Swedes defeated. Let's take Gotland and call it a day. That's it. That's all the land you need for the achievement. Uh, funnily enough, again, 
Åland doesn't count. So you need Ostlandet, Vestlandet, Trøndelag, Nord Norge, Lapland, Norland, Svealand, Småland, Vester Gotland, Scania, Gotland, Sjælland, and Jutland. And we have all of those. We don't need Åland. So with that, we have formed the Baltic Unitary State, which is more in Scandinavia, really. And Esti truly is Scani. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, consider subscribing, and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload more content. Please, please, I have suffered for your entertainment. Anyway, uh, next video, you're gonna love it. Promise, this has been me, Bitter Steel. See ya.